I am Chloe and I play Carla. My name is Alex and my character is Lexi. My name's Ayla and I play Liv. My favourite line is probably when I'm talking to Maddie, my sister, um, about how much I hate Lana Del Rey and how she sounds like someone farting in my ears. You love Lana Del Rey. Maybe when I was younger, your age, now she just sounds like someone farting in my ears. Because I find that it's really ironic because I love Lana Del Rey. Probably the one where I'm telling Ian off <laughs> because I feel really powerful. I heard that you and Jim were picking on Will. My favourite line is the apology I say to Tom because I think it's very emotional. My name is Jordan and I play Eric. I like when I say um, we could get kicked out of camp because it's sort of the realisation that uh, they're not doing the right thing and they need to change. I am Jake and I play the character of Ian. My name is Connor and I play uh, William slash Crutch's Kid. My favourite line is probably when I'm um, roasting Crutch's Kid. <laughs> when I um, ask him if he needs armbands to swim, that's pretty funny. What for a swim are we? Need some armbands. My name is LJ and I play Danny. The most fun thing on set for me is probably filming in the woods because it's actually shaded. We're probably using crutches because I've never, like, this is the first time I've ever used crutches before. My name's Mate and I play Jim. The most fun thing on set to do is probably just hang around with friends. And I'm Teddy and I play Dylan. When you're not in a scene, it's just like nice to watch it or just like chill out a bit. Favourite character is probably Jim. I just like how he plays his character, it's really, it's really good. Will, on this character. Jim or Ian, because I like how rude they are and you get to find out more about them. My favourite character is probably Carla, um, played by Chloe. Just because she's so nice, she's like the mum of um, all, the, all the people in the camp. And I feel like she's a really nice person. Alex, because like, I think her character's development was quite interesting throughout the story. I generally like all of them, really. I'd say, I'd say they've all got a meaning to be her at camp. I generally like all of them, I'd say. My name is Noah and I play Derek. I'm Ellie and I'm playing Maddie. My favourite was when the two sisters were in argument because it was fun to film. My favourite scene is probably the one with me and Maddie, my sister, where she's wiping all Lexi's makeup off because I feel like it's really emotional and you get to see her without makeup for the first time and how beautiful she is. <laughs> <laughs> I like where we're all blowing out candles for Carla's birthday because it's a really good way to end the movie. I'd say the beach scene where I get to talk to um, Will, Crutchy's kid, about getting angry with him. I like the script because Alex gets rejected at one point. <laughs> I'm Charlie and I've primarily been cinematographer for this film. Well, something that's very heavily kind of played upon in the script as a plot point is the overuse and over-reliance on technology, and particularly phones, and how people are far too willing to stake big parts of their self-worth in a kind of unreal world, like within the confines of the phone, especially with virtual reality becoming more and more common and people finding more and more ways to use this unreal world as an escape it's I think this film's kind of very very true to the time it's being made and I think it's I think that's giving it an authenticity for sure I have lots of sisters at home so obviously that will help um, and my relationship with them I can kind of build on that see how my character might feel about her sister, Maddie. I just pretended Alex was my brother because I don't have any sisters. My name's Isaac. I'm the director and the screenwriter. Well, I've wanted to make a, a coming of age movie for a long time. And uh, I think what encouraged me to do it today is the reality of the world. You know, everyone's on social media and TikTok all the time. They're using beauty filters despite them being completely artificial. Uh, there's a, a lot of stuff to do with 
AI in deep fakes at the moment and I absolutely wanted to cover something like that. I see a lot of things that could be potentially harmful or, or, or even positive which I which I've wanted to talk about so yeah my main inspiration was absolutely the world today. I think just be careful <clears throat> be careful with what you watch online be careful with what you believe online but there's an awful lot of AI going around there's an awful lot of expectation when it comes to how one should look particularly with these new with these new filters that make you look artificially more attractive the script covers a lot of things to do with beauty standards and bullying and lots of other things um but um regarding beauty standards it's a thing that's quite prominent in teens and um generally just girls and women um in today's society and hopefully that film touches on it and makes people feel a little bit better about it i think it also covers how lots of people are using their phones and just addicted to it. Be careful on social media and be careful when you like take photos of people. And... Oh yeah, I've had an amazing week. Yes, I have had a great week. Have you had a great week? Yeah. <laughs>